Over the past year, I have built many AI chatbots, most of them built on Autogen and Langchain. So in this video, I am going to be teaching you everything that I know about building a super AI chatbot using Autogen, Langchain, SQLite and Function Schema so that you can have the same sort of success as AI engineering by utilizing this amazing new technology. You will be able to copy and paste my code and get started with building these super AI chatbots for your business and your personal use as quickly as possible. But the best part about what I'm about to show you is that this method is going to give you complete flexibility and customization over how your app works and how the SQLite and function schema are processed. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. For those who may not be as familiar with technical details, let me provide a bit of background to make things easier to understand. What is SQLite? SQLite is one of the most popular databases for embedded software development. Essentially, it is a library written in C that offers a relational database management system. SQLite is an open source, serverless, flexible, cross-platform that doesn't require configuration and can manage low to medium traffic levels. SQLite is a preferred choice among database administrators and software developers alike due to its simplicity and efficiency. What is the function calling schema? The function calling schema in the context of GPT-4 APIs allows a user to describe functions and have the model intelligently choose to output a JSON object containing arguments to call one or many functions. The schema includes the descriptions and parameters of the available functions, allowing the model to execute arbitrary function calls and even potentially aid in attacking the functions. Let's start coding. We need to build a system that can run SQL commands directly from Autogen. To do this, the process involves several steps. First, we'll examine the available tables, then create and run an SQL query, and finally, present the results in a format like text, graphs, or tables. Although this process involves multiple steps and can seem complex, we're going to use the Langchain mechanism to make handling SQL from Autogen much easier. To make things easier, we've set up a way to use SQL through something we're calling function calling. This is possible using the agent toolkit in Langchain. As for the database, I chose SQLite since it's simple to set up. However, if it's compatible with Langchain, you're also free to use other databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL. Let's start installing the requirements. Assuming you have created a new Python project and set up a virtual environment, run the command. Let's import the required dependencies. First, let's create the database that will be used by the agent. I'll make something simple for now. Create a books table, authors table, and publishers table. We're going to use SQLite database specifically to create and populate a bookstore database. It defines two functions, create table and insert data for creating tables and inserting data respectively. The script then establishes a connection to a database file named bookstore.db and uses the defined functions to create three tables, books, authors, and publishers, each with relevant fields. After creating these tables, it inserts sample data into them. These tables are related to each other. Books references authors and publishers through author ID and publisher ID. The script ensures all changes are saved to the database with con.commit and then closes the cursor. Then we will load the database using the Langchain mechanism. By using the SQL database toolkit provided by Langchain, you can execute SQL in natural language. Let's create a function calling schema to call the created toolkit as follows. Convert the toolkit parameters using the generate LM config function and save them to the tool schema. Also, the tool run calls Langchain's toolkit and registers it in the function map. Let's set up the list to Autogen. We create the config list as follows. Config list is a list containing configuration settings for the model you intend to use. Timeout set to 120. This represents a timeout value in seconds. With this configuration, we are ready to use AI agents with Autogen. Let's create an agent as usual. When multiple conversations are in progress, the OpenAI agent returns terminate, 
when the task is finished and the user proxy stops working. Also register the function map created earlier. Once the agents are set up, the script starts a conversation between the user and the chatbot. This is done by calling the initiate chat method on the user proxy object. The initiate chat method requires two parameters, the SQL chatbot instance, which acts as the chatbot and a text message that outlines the task to be discussed. Then I will give it a question of how many books are in the database. The result looks like this. Let's wrap it up. By applying function calling like this, we can effectively utilize Langchain's capabilities. In my recent experiment, I used this method to manage SQL. Considering that databases are common in many settings, but writing queries can be challenging for many, especially those who aren't engineers, I believe this kind of feature would be really helpful. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.